Hey you guys, my name is Kayla. If you're new here, welcome to my TikTok page. Um, I am the owner of the Earring Loft. I make earrings by hand. Um, this video is actually a tutorial that I'm doing for you guys on how I made these resin earrings. This is actually the very first time that I'm even attempting to do this, so you guys get to try this for the very first time with me, so definitely wish me luck. Um, to make these, I'm just using some epoxy resin, some gold flakes, and some dried flowers. Um, I have silicone molds here, and then I also have these um, like metal pendant outlines that you can fill with resin as well, so I'm going to try both. Um, in this video, you'll just see me filling these. So I didn't record that part. Um, right now, you just see me pretty much putting the dried flowers and the flakes like where I want them to set in the earrings at. And then next, you'll see me mixing up the epoxy. Um, this epoxy resin is a one-to-one -one ratio. I've seen a lot of people using UV resin instead, though, and I think that I might try that, um, especially if it has a faster curing time because this epoxy resin has 24 hours to even just initially set so it is a while before I'm able to actually take these earrings out of the mold and I would definitely like to use something that cures faster so if anybody has any tips or tricks on different types of resin that have a way shorter curing time definitely let me know um you guys saw me just now trying to use that dropper to pour the resin as well I've seen a lot of people use that and I think the reason they use that is so that they don't accidentally overfill the mold but it just wasn't working for me. It was creating way too many air bubbles. And so I had to resort to just freehand pouring like this. But that definitely worked a lot better. I just was careful to not overfill the molds themselves. Um, but here is how they turned out. Let me know what you guys think. And if you would like for me to do more videos like